The incoming global recession caused by incessant money printing, wonky supply chains, and a concerted effort to start World War III has created an opportunity for our globalist friends. Amid the chaos, they are going to walk a new Trojan horse right into our economy, unleashing tyranny from right under our noses. That Trojan horse is central bank digital currency. They will tell you this is good for the economy, that it will help people who currently don't have a bank account. This is not the purpose of CBDCs. The Bank of Canada, I hear they love freedom up there, released a paper in support of CBDCs, directly quoting, For example, money could be programmed to gain or lose value over time, or it could be programmed to be used in transactions for only specific goods or services. Grown from the pits of Federal Reserve hell, they can set an automatic depreciation rate, devaluing your currency as time goes on and forcing you to spend it. Want to save your hard-earned labor instead of spend it on useless stuff? Sorry, you must spend, spend, spend for the common good. But even worse, they are also programmable as in they can tell you how you can spend your money. Imagine a robot employee from Lord Farquaad's fascist theme park, now in control of what you eat, watch, and do. They are Dolores Umbridge in monetary form, the bureaucratic Karen of your nightmares. A hamburger? Well, you already hit your red meat quota for the month. Denied. Please select something from the approved menu. Gym? You've already met the one workout per week max. Denied. Sorry, our community doesn't endorse fat phobia, but you can always use the elliptical. So CBDCs are like a Kohl's card that only works wherever the government says it will, but it gets much, much worse. CBDCs are a Trojan horse to unleash a Chinese-style social credit system in the United States, where your every action is surveilled and assessed for the good of the Republic. Now, does that sound like freedom or what? This is the antithesis of crypto and decentralization. We are in the big leagues, people. The game is on the line. Either we head for Lord Farquaad's fascist theme park or we get decentralized water park McFunland. There is no other alternative. So when the government tries to force CBDCs on us, all of the peasants have to get together and just say no.